Tonight, it's not exactly Top Gun, but when a local middle school teams up with the United States Air Force, it got our attention. And tonight, Sarah Hollenbeck here shows you the new opportunities available for local students. Walking inside this Azalea Middle School classroom, you feel like you're on a military base. Forward march! With the difference that the cadet in command is just 13. About face! Most of my family was in the military, such as my mom, my dad, my uncle, so I do hope to join the military. For Cadet Daniel Hansen, it's a natural career path, but getting exposure to an auxiliary arm of the U.S. Air Force this early is pretty incredible. Just ask 8th grader J.C. Anderson. It just proves that there are some really, really smart kids out there that are strong enough to get into programs like this. The Civil Air Patrol Cadet Squadron teaches students about leadership, character building, and science, technology, engineering, and math. Captain Willis Reese helped launch the program to Azalea to enhance their existing engineering and aeronautics program. Part of the program will allow kids to apply the skills they're learning on this simulator to fly a real military aircraft. I wish that they had any of this when I was a kid. Uh, I had struggled so hard when I was a kid coming through school and this would have been, this would have been my jam. This would have brought me to school every day. And it comes at a critical time. The Air Force Academy is seeing a 28% drop in applications for the class of 2026 from the year prior. About, While the Civil Air Patrol Cadet Squadron About, Program please. isn't a recruiting tool, it does introduce kids to the possibilities early. And if they choose to pursue a military career, they can come in at a higher rank because of this experience. It's really cool when you think about it to be flying planes or to be on ships and like defending your country. Defending our country or leading drills, these kids are leaders in the making regardless which path they choose. In St. Pete, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.